Hey, what's up? It's Josh Hewitt from Top Form Fitness, and once again, it's time to do it with Hewitt. This is just a quick video to show you some of the new squat and deadlift variations I've been using to help increase my deadlift. I like to start my lower body workouts with some glute ham raises. I find this a great warm up for my lower body and a nice way to activate the posterior chain. I'd say the glute ham raise is one of my favorite pieces of equipment that I picked up from a home gym. My first exercise of the deadlift workout are deficit deadlifts. I'm working from a two inch deficit. Um, I did my warm ups and worked up to 365 pounds here for six sets of three reps. Next up are pause deadlifts, where I'm doing a couple seconds of pausing at the knees for each repetition. Here I'm working with uh, 315 pounds, I'm doing six sets of four. I haven't done these before actually, it's the first time and it took some getting used to. Uh, they were recommended to me by a friend of mine who's a strength coach, uh, Craig Vangeli, and he's uh, uh, the owner of True North Training Systems. This exercise will really help you get strong at your sticking points. And now one of my least favorite exercises of all time, the front squat. Now this is a great exercise for your quads and your core. It's just one that I suck at. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Let me show you some of the other exercises I'm doing on my second leg workout of the week. I'm doing a lot of squat variations because uh, my deadlift is weakest coming off the floor. I'm lacking leg drive at the start of my deadlift. So I'm including exercises like this, the bottoms up squat. I'm doing half squats off the rack. So stopping to a dead stop off the rack and pushing to a uh, full lockout and then holding at the top position for an isometric hold. Yeah, I found it pretty awkward to get used to this, but it's an amazing exercise. I love it. And I just picked up a safety squat bar and I'm including this in my program as well. Uh, I'm doing a, a closer stance and it helps keep me a little bit more upright. And um, yeah, I'm, this is another one of my favorites now. Still getting used to it as well. It's a, it's a little different from uh, both a back squat and a front squat but I'm really starting to enjoy this exercise and it is helping me focus on my leg drive in the deadlift. Another new exercise I've started incorporating uh, at the recommendation of my friend Craig is a front squat hold. Uh, it's just loading up with a uh, you know, fairly heavy weight for the front squat and just holding that position isometrically for 30 seconds. You can see I keep looking over here to check the clock. Uh, just give it a little time lapse here. I don't need to sit through the full 30 seconds, but you get the idea. It's actually harder than it looks as well. You really feel your core, your upper back, um, everything working isometrically to keep that midsection stable while you support that weight. I hope you enjoyed the video. Wish me luck in my quest for a bigger deadlift and stay tuned as I'll be posting my one rep max attempt soon. Let's get down to the workout. So the three exercises I selected for this workout are the deadlift, the pull up, and the parallel dip. Three awesome exercises. I'm gonna be doing them in a strength circuit, performing about five rounds of six to eight repetitions, starting off here with a warm up set. The granddaddy of all exercises, the deadlift.